Hey everyone, I'm Nick, and welcome to version 2 of C++ Crash Course. Now in this episode of the series, we're going to be talking about implementing custom operators for our structs and objects. So in order to boost the functionality for our custom data types, we might want to implement certain operators. So they may be comparison operators, so we can you know, put our objects into uh, certain types of data structures, um, or they may be because we want to use certain standard library algorithms, like std sort maybe and we need to have another operator like the less than operator implemented here. Now, in our example, right, we've been looking at this class wallet, and maybe another thing I wanna do is find the grand total or the sum of contents of a number of wallets. Now, I don't wanna to have to you know, go through each wallet and call it get dollars and get cents. What I'd rather do is just implement the addition operator, that way I can just add two wallets directly using the plus sign. So let's go ahead and see how we can do that uh, with our example. So. Let's go to the very top of our program. So here's our class wallet and has our private dollars and cents uh, members. Then we have our constructors and copy constructor. And down here we have our operator. So our operator looks kind of like a method. The big difference here is that instead of having a name, it has the keyword operator and then whatever operator we're implementing. So here operator plus is what we're implementing. It takes a wallet and it returns a wallet. And then down here, just like we would implement our methods, we've got our implementation of operator plus. So you see all we're doing here is we're just getting the total number of dollars from the two wallets, we're converting everything into cents, and then we're returning a new wallet and we're using division and modulo in order to convert the total number of cents into a value of dollars, an integer value of cents, right? And this module will just make sure that we don't end up with over 100 cents in our result. Um, so we don't want to say have, um, you know, two dollars or one dollar and one hundred and fifty cents. We would rather have two fifty, right? That's the correct way to express that amount. All right, and then after we have that implemented, we can go ahead and use it very simply inside of our program. So whenever you know we create two wallets and we try to add them together, we get w one plus w two here, right? This add is now implemented. So we'll, w three will end up being the sum of ten thirty seven and one eighty five. So we should get the result of twelve twenty two here. And then we're going to go ahead and print the result, make sure we got the right answer. So let's go ahead and try this out. So we'll go ahead and uh, compile operators.cbp, we'll call the output operators, and we'll run the code and we see that we got the value of wallet equals 1222, right? We got the right result. Um, another thing we can do here is, you know, what does our error message look like if we don't have this implemented? Now this is a very, um, this is an important thing to understand because we may try to use something like a STL container or um, an STL algorithm, and we might get an error that looks somewhat like this. Um, this, that, you know, the, the error that happens when we say don't have our plus operator implemented. So let's go ahead and try to compile again. And we get something like error no match for operator plus. Operand types are wallet and wallet, right? So it says what line it occurred on, and then it points out which operator. So your, your error might look different with different compilers. This is with GCC 10. Um, but you see that it tells me I've got no match for a certain operator, which is basically like saying I don't have a certain function implemented. So you may get this error if you try to, say, sort um, a vector of your object and you don't have the comparison operators um, uh, implemented, or if you try to maybe um, use a certain you know data structure that you're trying to insert um, you're trying to insert your object into and you don't have you know certain comparison operators implemented. So what does this operator plus look like at an assembly level as well, right? So I said it looks kind of like a method, but is it just a method at the assembly level? Well, we can go always go ahead and find out by using object dump, and then we'll use dash D dash C, and we'll do this on operators. We'll dump it to a file called out.asm. We'll go to out.asm, and let's see, we've got wallet print here. And then, hey, look, there's our method, right? So it looks just like a normal function or a method. We've got this wallet operator plus that takes a wallet. And so this is where our actual implementation is going, right? So this is what we're doing here. Um, this is what's doing, our, uh, you see we're even creating our wallet down here. So it's our constructor that takes two integers. And this ends up being what we're returning. Right, so this is a pretty simple example of how we can implement these custom operators. So um, there's a lot of power in doing this. We can uh, greatly improve the functionality of our classes and our structs, moreover our objects uh, by doing this. But that's gonna go ahead and do it for this video. As always, you can check out all this code at github.com slash coffee before arch. This is all under C++ Crash Course or CPP Crash Course under Fundamental Concepts, 
objects, and then we looked at operators today. So feel free to download this, play around with it, let me know if you have any questions, and as always, I'm Nick, and I hope you have a nice day.